Do you need to charge your iPhone? Well, I've got the perfect cable for you. Here's a lightning cable that you can use to charge your iPhone. Just plug this side into your computer, into a USB port, and then plug this into your phone and it'll charge. Question is, however, do you trust me and do you trust the cable that I'm giving you? What's the difference between this cable and let's say this cable? They look exactly the same. What's the difference? I'm pretty sure you can trust me. Well, maybe you shouldn't. So let's have a look at what we can do with this cable. I'm going to use this cable to steal all your Wi Fi passwords. I'm going to send them to a server hosted on the internet, or in this example, hosted as a virtual machine on my Mac. This is a Kali or Kali Linux virtual machine, and I'm running a web server here that I'm going to use to get all of your Wi Fi passwords by using just this cable. Okay, let's get started. So here I have a Windows laptop. And let's see what happens when I plug that cable in. Nothing much seems to happen. It just seems to act like a normal lightning cable. I could take my phone as an example. So I'll plug this in. I'm asked, do I want to allow this device access to my photos and videos? Let's say allow for, for the moment. It doesn't make any difference. But what I'd like you to see is that the phone is being charged. So my phone is now being charged by the laptop through this lightning cable. All looks good. So that's fine. But now, notice what I can do. I could use a laptop for this or an iPhone. I'll just use an iPhone to connect to a wireless access point in that cable. So what I'm going to do is search for Wi-Fi networks, and I'm going to connect to the FBI network. Now, I've connected previously to this Wi-Fi network, so it connects automatically. But there is a password on that Wi-Fi network, so not anyone would be able to connect to it. And what I can do now is open up a web browser and browse to a web server running on the OMG cable. So what I've now done is connect to a web server running within that cable. I've connected to the Wi-Fi access point running within the cable and now to a web server. And what I can do is load a pre-configured script. So the script is stored in slot four. So it's loading the payload. And what this will do now is copy all the saved Wi-Fi information from this laptop to the web server running on my Kali or Kali Linux server. So on my laptop, nothing's happening. But if I press run, the OMG cable is going to send keystrokes to the laptop impersonating a keyboard. And then it's going to copy all the Wi-Fi credentials, so SSIDs, all the passwords to my web server. So let's try that. It's copying it to a web server called the boss.lol. That's a little Python server that's running within Kali or Kali. So let's press run and see what happens. What you'll notice now is keystrokes are being sent to the Windows computer. And what's happening now is the information is being copied to my web server. So from a user point of view, something happened here. They're not quite sure what happened. They see that they need to connect to their phone again. So I've had to press allow the device to access my photos again. But what's actually happened in the background is the information has been copied to my server. So on my Kali or Kali Linux host, I'll open up another terminal. And if I type ls, I can see this temp the zip file. Now you can configure the script to use unique identifiers for the zip file. But in this case, I've just used temp to keep it simple. So I'll unzip temp.zip. And as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of XML files. These are my Wi-Fi networks. So on my Mac, if I have a look at the Wi-Fi networks, you can see a whole bunch of Wi-Fi networks, including my secure Wi-Fi. That's been copied 
from the Windows laptop to this web server, which could be hosted on the internet using a VPS or virtual private server or something. And what I can do now is I can read all the Wi-Fi information. So if I cat that file, and I'll just go up here to show you that information again. Cat Wi-Fi MySecure Wi-Fi.xml. You can see this is the name of the Wi-Fi network. Once again, on my Mac, you can see that being broadcast. And here's the security information. It's using WPA pre-shared keys. And the password is you cannot get access, exclamation mark. The OMG cable has basically copied all of these Wi-Fi networks from the laptop. So those are all the saved Wi-Fi networks on the laptop to this web server. So just to show you that again, LS star.xml, those are all my Wi-Fi networks. And I won't show you the actual details of all of them because they are my actual Wi-Fi networks. But if I look at the details of that one, Wi-Fi MySecure Wi-Fi.xml, once again, SSID. So that's the name of the Wi-Fi network. Security being used, so it's AES, pre-shared keys. And this is the password of the Wi-Fi network. I've been able to get all the Wi-Fi network information stored in that laptop. So anything that's been stored previously, I now have access to. And that was copied once again from the laptop to a server somewhere on the internet. In this example, it's running on my Kali or Kali Linux virtual machine running on my Mac locally. But it did do a domain name resolution. And connecting back to the OMG cable, we can see that the boss.lol is the DNS name that the files were copied to that resolves to this Kali or Kali Linux VM. Okay, so that was an example of using the OMG cable to get someone's Wi-Fi information. I was able to copy all their Wi-Fi information. Lesson here is don't just trust some random cable. Make sure that the cables that you're connecting to your computer are valid cables, not just some random cable that you've found somewhere. I'll also show you some other examples in subsequent videos using USB memory sticks. Do not trust a flash drive or a memory stick. You don't just want to plug something into your computer. Be very careful what you plug into your computer. Now, if you're interested, I'm going to show you step by step how to get this working. Let me know, would you like to see how I actually did this? I'm David Bombal, and I want to wish you all the very best. I've been